By Bikofazic, Potse to unless Chos is complete. Nine years old monster next season. Last season may have been disappointing from start to finish, but the future appears a little brighter for Chelsea. Chelsea may be set to lose Angelo Kante and Matteo Kovacic this summer, but it could well already have already made replacement of Sturt in 90 years old prodigy Andre Santos. What is the latest with Chelsea's Brazilian midfielder Andre Santos? Between splicing out huge arms to sign Enzo Fernandez, Michael Madrid, Benoit Bedio Sil, and Noni Madurek in the January transfer window, the Blues also confirmed the signing of the relatively unknown youngster Santos. Brought in for an undisclosed fee, thought to be in the right enough £80 million, Santos was denied the chance to make any sort of impact in the second half of the 2022 to 23 season as he was unable to obtain a work permit. However, as reported by the Evening Standard, the teenager has now been given the green light to begin training for Chelsea. It is claimed in the report that new head coach Mauricio Pochettino, a man known for giving youngster a chance, is ready to cast a close eye on the Brazilian during precision. Santos' third career to that has been spent exclusively with Vasco da Gama, where he returned in March for three months after being blocked from representing Chelsea. The young Brazilian caught the eye from a young age at Vasco, scoring its goal in 33 Brasileiro Serie B games in 2022. Santos' reputation will for to grow at the South American U20 Championship. With the Rio native captaining Brazil to an undefeated title triumph and finishing as joint top scorer with six goals, as pointed out by the athletic reporter Simon Johnson. It was very smart of Chelsea to get the deal done prior to the tournament taking place, with his we only set to rise further on the back of his 13. Uh, restoring this please. Santos arrives at Premier League heavyweights. Chelsea had a point in which replacement are being sought for the Kefasic and Conte, who have been linked with Manchester City and Saudi Arabian champions, all it had. Conte barely featured for Chelsea last season due to injury, but Kovacic started 33 times in all competition, the same number of starts Santos managed last year with Vasco. While the quality of the two legs must be factored in, the statistics give an indication of what Chelsea can expect from Santos, who differs from Kovacic in some areas but it's similar in others. For example, Santos averaged 0.25 direct goal involvements for 90 last year. As per Afiraf, compared to 0.20 for Kovacic, the former is far more accurate with his health finding the target 36.2% of the time, which is an increase on Kovacic's return of 9.4%. Santos won 1.97 tackles per 90, compared to 1.11 for Kovacic. What they were alive for interception per 90, 0 0.83 versus 0 0.87. As he has sound for Brazil U20, Santos, who Leon Legend, Junino, Pernambu Channel, hail it as complete and double the monster, is confident with carrying the ball forward and is capable of putting it in the net, which is photo highlighted by his aforementioned Coleton Lester. Why he may lack the experience of Gavsik, who is a decade older, Santos has all the qualities to quickly win over Chelsea supporters in what they will hope is a brighter future that last season suggests. If anyone can develop a promising talent into a first team star, then it's certainly Pochettino and it seems like Santos will stand a good chance of being forthcoming start of the 2023 to 24 campaigns.